Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Profex. You might notice it's a little bit later than I would normally record, um, but it's just kind of the way that today worked out. Um, and it's actually pretty nice temperature-wise, so I figured, you know what? Let's shoot it. I'm really excited to, to open this balance line anyway, and I just couldn't wait any longer. So hopefully, you know, it being a bit not as bright as usual isn't too much of an issue. But um, yeah, today we have a very special video, in my opinion, something that I'm very excited for. Um, this is a ballast song by a dude named Flip Forge, uh, based in Taiwan, and I believe. And uh, it is a fully customizable 3D printed ballast song. What I have here is the Edit Light. I'm very excited. See, the story behind this is I'm going to Paris in a little bit, and I needed to buy a plastic ballast song. I was looking around, I was thinking maybe I could get a Squiddy clone or something like that. I was looking around. And then I was watching a Camaro E stream and I asked, I was like, hey, do you have any plastic ballast songs that you recommend? And he was like, you know what? And I happened to make a point about in the last year just because I was curious. And he said in the last year, it would have to be the edit light be one of the best. And so I was like, all righty. <laughs> and I looked it up and this whole, you know, I kind of got it and I customized it with the full like stuff. And it came out to be 60 bucks, including shipping and everything, which is actually cheaper than a Squiddy B. I'll throw up all the specs and stuff on it uh, on the screen now, but um, yeah, I, I'm kind of, my mindset with this is I'm thinking of it to be, I could probably have brought out a thing, but we're just gonna use the Nautilus. Um, I'm thinking of this more like a, uh, kind of main competitor to the Squiddy B. Um, the reason I brought up the Nautilus is because it's one of the lighter balance songs I own because I don't really own any other plastic balance songs at the moment. But here we are, kind of three, two, one. Here's the reveal. <gasps> oh, we did get a we did get a little sticker. I saw this was in uh, Cam's video and this sticker is so cute. I think it's Flip Forge's snake, I believe. Her name is Cassie, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Cassidy or Cassie. So, so, so adorable. Yeah, so I'll put that right there. I'll definitely have to stick that on my computer or something. And then, okay, so it comes in the foam. And then here's the actual ballast song. All right, cool. This is, oh, spare hardware and stuff, seems like. All right, wonderful. So we're gonna take it out. It's it's light, it's 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 a light ballast song. Um, it feels good. My one, uh, one thing I'm curious about is tall, it feels bouncy already. I haven't done any flips with it yet, obviously. One thing I am curious about is what are tolerances gonna be like? Because on a plastic ballast song, usually you're gonna get tap and play and things like that. But I've heard that the tolerances on this are actually quite good. So let's see. Wow. Okay, there it is. There's some tap and maybe you could tune it down and get it. Okay, so it feels very bouncy. So we're just gonna do, get it out of the way. Here's the first flips. First, actually before, Here's the blade, that crescent moon style blade. Looks extremely beautiful. That's the jimping I got. Those are the, um, those I got on the side of the handles. I did uh, the gray and white blade, obviously. So here we are, first slips. Ooh. 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 It's interesting. First drop. Wow, the sound of it is really, I, I like the sound. It seems, from what I can tell, it's very bouncy, extremely bouncy. I'm actually gonna take my ring and put it on my other hand. Oh yeah. It seems to be, a little bit handle bias, if I'm not mistaken, I, though I could be wrong. Um, it has a really good feel to it. If you compare it to something like the Nautilus, for example, this is also much heavier, it flips a bit differently, it carries its momentum differently, but this, this is pretty cool. Now, obviously, I don't have an edit to compare it to, um, but I do like this. Grip-wise, it's really nice. It's very light. It seems to be, I mean, you can, you can, it can handle tricks really well. What I'm curious to see is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a, yeah, it's a little 
torch, that's awesome. It's a little um, torch bit. So I'm gonna try and tighten this a little bit. See if I can see how that would work. Yeah, and that actually does affect tolerances. There was a bit of tap, but I mean, if you look like, that is not terrible for a plastic ballast song. That's more flex than anything. This is really awesome so far. And you get your spare hardware and things like that. Wow. So the notable thing about the edit light and just the edit is um, there are pieces of metal inside the plastic ballast song. So there's, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can even see it. You might be able to see it very faintly. There's uh, little bits of, of, of bronze, I believe. I'm not, there's little bits of metal in there, in the blade. And then there's also, I believe, bits of metal at the end. See those weights right there. So, yeah, it's, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Carries momentum pretty well. I'll have to get used to it, of course. But, you know, if this was, keep in mind, I'm picturing this being my only thing that I'm flipping for a fair bit of time while I'm in Paris. I'm not upset. This could be the flipper that I take you know, places publicly and stuff, it being a plastic ballast song. I like it a lot. I'm gonna have to get used to it, of course, like any other ballast song, but I like the sound of it. It's quiet, um, which is really nice. It's not too in your face. Even something like the Squiddy B could get pretty loud at times. This, not the loudest in the world. I like it a lot. I love the the customizability of it and whatnot. Yeah, I like this a lot. I'll have to get used to it, but yeah, this is this is awesome so far. Well, wonderful. It's starting to rain a little bit. It's starting to drizzle. I can feel it. So I think that's the cue for cue for the end of the video. But so far, I am really liking this thing. I, I do want to, you know eventually do a full review on this. Um, maybe get some cool B-roll of when I'm on the trip and stuff and try and incorporate that into the video perhaps. But um, yeah, I wanna, wanna thank you guys for watching as always and whatnot. And yeah, hopefully we can uh, have some fun with the review. Uh, this is obviously, it was obviously just kind of a first impressions unboxing type thing so far. I like it a lot. I think that I wish I had my Squiddy B still to compare it to, but um, it's it's really good so far. It definitely feels like big in the hand. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel lackluster at all. It feels like, I mean, let me put it this way. It feels obviously bigger than the Nautilus handle wise. I mean, just look at that comparison in handles. So it feels like, it feels more substantial, if that makes sense in, in your hand. It, it, it obviously takes up more space, it's more, wire it's 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 more of a oomph. and the ballast song is just in comparison to the nautilus is just bigger <laughs> by by a fair bit so yeah um i like this a lot i'm super excited to flip this around i'm gonna spend some time with it and flip it in paris and whatnot and uh yeah i'm really liking it so far thank you guys so much for watching as always and as always have a phenomenal day, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much.